So that was Fight of the Bumblebee by Rimsky Korsakoff, a classic melody incorporating the chromatic scale. The chromatic scale is essentially every note in step on our instrument. They move in half steps or semitones depending on where you're from. And the chromatic scale is a great way to develop technique and fluidity over the instrument. <laughs> Okay, so that was a chromatic scale from my low E to my high C. Now, how do we practice this? The clarinet is almost four octaves in, uh, in range. So learning that scale over all of that range is almost an insurmountable task. So how do we do it? Well, we break it down. Rather than take it from bottom to top and top to bottom, um, there's more musical ways we can develop it. And I think the more musically we can approach boring technical exercises, the more fluidity we'll have and the more musical we can make it. And it's just gonna sound so much better. So what I'd like to do is take a scale that has 12 notes in it from one octave to one octave and break it down into smaller chunks so that our fingers get a chance to really relax and hone in on certain parts of the scale. So let's start on the low E to the middle E. Now what I like to do is I like to have anchor points and I call them anchor points because they're points that give my, my brain something to hold on to, okay? Not necessarily playing the note any different, but it's giving myself something to focus on. Well, let's break this scale down into four parts. We're going to anchor our mind on the G, the B flat and the C sharp. <laughs> Okay, so we're moving in a triplet-wise motion, right, in groups of three. Okay, so now we're going to move those anchor points a little further apart, and we're going to divide the octave into half. So if we divide that into half, our anchor point is just one. It's our B-flat. Okay, so that's further apart now. If we divide it into groups of four, our anchor points are G-sharp and C. So what we're doing is we're learning exactly the same scale, but by anchoring on certain aspects of that scale, I'm giving my brain something to focus on so it's not just a chaotic set of notes. I hope that gives you some inspiration to learn your chromatic scale and please visit jazzclarinetlessons.com. There's a brand new ebook called Chromatic Bootcamp. Over decades, I've developed these exercises to help my chromatic scale gain fluidity. If you work on this book just a little bit every day, you'll be playing Flight of the Bumblebee like a bumblebee. Okay, everybody, thanks so much. See you next time.